Hey y'all, we're uh, back today. We're going to be uh, finishing up on your golf cart a little bit. A little more work. On my last video we said uh, about getting some 30 miles per hour out of this. It probably won't be actually 30, it'll probably be about 28 mile an hour. But um, can't remember the name of the guy's web uh, YouTube that I've seen that led me to finding this thing and then I uh, went on oh, Google and found the stuff myself and ordered me one so here's what we got when I find the uh, guy's name on YouTube there I'll show him uh, show you what uh, I'll link it down in the description and uh, he's got a promo code for this stuff too that I used um, I think if I add that to, to uh, so, uh oh, I dropped it. If I add that to the down here in the description, you might be able to use it also. It might help that guy out. I'm not sponsored by these guys. Um, name of the place is uh, fastrxv.com at the end. They, um, I emailed them, or I didn't email them. I, I bought this uh, chip is what it is. As you can see, it's a chip. Let me uh, pull it out of here. Just a little feller. And uh, I ordered that when I was at work because I did the research while I was at work on, on break. I said, man, I need that. Well, I, when we come to do this suspension, if you remember in the last video, I said, man, that's the wrong plug. So this place sells the the uh, plug oh, let's get it pull a little bit out there it sells the plug to plug in your chip so when I uh, I got an email from these people because I ordered this after I got home or when I noticed that that was the wrong plug and the guy emailed me and said hey we added your uh combined your shipping and since this came with free shipping he threw this in the box with it and refunded my shipping I said I appreciate that so saved me you know a little over four dollars which whatever but that's that's it we got to cut some wires and attach this so Uh, the guy, other guy's video, he said that he didn't get any instructions with his. Uh, we got the instructions for the chip and the plug. Well, when I was looking for this, because in the video the guy said he couldn't, didn't have, uh, didn't get any instructions. When I was looking through this, I found um, a PDF on that on their website, and it had the instructions on pdf so i went ahead and just downloaded them off the thing but it come with it so we're good um kind of don't like doing tutorials and you know uh the only thing that's anything requires any work is putting this plug on there if mine would have had the right plug i could have just plugged that chip in there and been done with it so we're gonna well uh Put this plug on there. So, oh, load. Hey, have mercy. Um, I gotta find some way to stick that thing. There it is. I'm gonna get some more light over here. Get a little setup better, and then we'll uh, we'll get to it. All right. So I just went, kind of pulled some out of there, and he wants you to remove some of that tape. In the instructions, it says remove some so you can pull that out of the loom. A lot of us know how that stuff is anyways. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, I'll have to save this piece of tape. I'm a tight wad. I'm going to reuse it. There we go. Um... You know, I told myself anyways that, you know, you got to make sure that we don't have. Uh, see, here's a little bit of instructions here. Pull a little bit. 
move that up, whatever. And mark off four wires in a straight line. Well, I ain't doing that because I can kind of cut in a straight line anyways. Uh, you see the colors of the wires? This comes with the same color wires. The only difference is, is the green don't have a white stripe. But you don't have any other green, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm turning my cart here. Switch for running. And then you have tow. I'm turning mine off on the tow. I've got my keys shut off. Um, I'm going to cut one wire at a time. And I think, yeah. And see, it says right here, pick one of the wires to start with. Cut it and move st uh, step eight. You should only cut one wire at a time. Because of the wires have power and cutting, the wires could ground out causing battery, obviously. Or causing damage. Strip the wires. And he's already, they've already done one side of the wires for you. Come just like this. So, that's awesome. So, I mean, it's pretty pretty straightforward. We want to start with the purple one. I'm going to cut this back far enough. Because I want to, in case I ever want to use it again. size there buddy so we're doing purple to purple I wish I had my other crimpers I don't quite like these crimpers but Klein tool, Klein tool one, give her a little tug test, and then I always kind of use the plier in down here and pinch her some more, ah. so I think you guys kind of get the logist of that, so I'm going to run through and do these and see how I'm going to keep my straight lines, I'm just going to, my purple one, and I'll put that there with it cut my next wire that easy that's how I keep my straight line I'm gonna cut these off and then we're gonna and I'm gonna get this hooked up and we're gonna install this chip all right we got it hooked up I use different colored electrical tape so y'all didn't think I was really going to reuse that black um, so we got the this done I mean, it only took me a couple seconds, obviously. Um, so here's our thing. This will have to be on. It'll have to be on run. Because you need your power. Make sure your charger's undone. Don't have your charger at all. Uh, it says, put your thing into neutral. If you have a black round... Oh, okay. Never mind. That just tells you this tells you where to locate it. As you can see, I just kind of pulled I pulled a bunch more up out of there so I had more room to work with. Um, so that's cover. Okay, now it wants us to put this it says unplug your charger and put it in neutral, but I waited too long. That was obviously reverse. So we're in neutral, locate this, and then it says plug this thing in. Obviously, uh, there's only one way to plug it in. It don't want, it'll only fit one way. It's even got the little, but these are only a one-time use thing, one time only. Uh, you can buy a Diller one that has unlimited amount of uses you can buy stuff like uh where you can only get 20 uses out of it but this guy here this is this uh i guess he probably does this on his own or the company does it on his own or whoever whatever it is so 
you can see how these are different shaped and it's got like a little barn roof looking old barn roof type thing and that you can see how it goes there so we'll plug it in and then there's our lights it's flashing it's tuning and now it's done so the turns a solid orange it's done unplug the tuner replace the dust cover that easy and then it even come with its own dust cover for it I'll just kind of set that down in there um, we'll turn this we'll turn this back off and take our chip uh, I also got me they also send a sticker <laughs> we're gonna we'll put that on there put that on somewhere on this thing uh, I need to borse this seat off there's a lot of things I need to do this thing it's instead of worrying about all the cosmetic stuff Oh, Lord. <clears throat> See, that thing's clipped down in the thing. Well, says she's done. We're going to take it for a ride. We're going to see what, uh, how much power we got up out of it. Yeah, I still haven't cleaned this. Still haven't done anything on this side of the shop. That's probably my kid. So, when I get this all set up, yeah, it's the kid. Get this thing set up and outside we'll I'll get to turn you on when we uh start doing our speed test. Alright, we got the speedometer thing hooked up. Oh wow. I bought the uh, chip that has the uh higher acceleration rate too that gets you speed faster and the uh, other one it don't have the advanced acceleration yeah she's already she got to 14 pretty quick just in the alley
hit 29, then we started going up a hill, we hit 30, though, going up it. You guys are all over. We're going we gonna to turn around and head back. It's cold out. I think it's only like 30-something degrees. You can hear them big tires are humming. Where you see the 30 on there, that's actually the speed limit on this road that I was on. The speed limit on this road is actually 30. There's a speed limit sign. We're at 20. Thursday it's going down but key up there it's kind of cool we got a lookout tower and all kinds of things man this thing flies Jack Ooh, I think oh no I think it's fried chicken today the local BFW has got like fried chicken or something times we got <laughs> there we go Ugh. I mean that's, that cart's big it's big for 
and do a hit 30 in this thing. Ugh. Oh, these do well little tires. The tires are big, big knobby tires. If these had like more streetable tires, then this thing might have been uh, more so heavy. They'd probably be uh, uh, probably be a lot be easier to turn, get somewhere a lot a lot uh, faster. Out of this. Let's uh, plug this thing in. And then I gotta get the drop cord and plug the charger all the way in. Uh, I'm sure everybody's wondering what it does to your battery life. I'm kind of wanting to know too. But as far as that chip, well worth the money. I think I paid 150 bucks for the chip. Dealer chips, almost 700 bucks though. Which, if you were working on these all the time, um, I don't get a whole lot of these RSVs. I've got some couple, the TXTs. Yeah, that's, I don't know if it goes down or up, but pretty sure it stays up here I think tops up here is the uh, charge so it didn't go down very far and it's not like I'm gonna have my foot in it the whole time like I did so I know you guys probably don't want to watch the whole uh, driving around thing but I'm not gonna edit any of it um, yeah uh, <laughs> I like it now to find out where we're gonna put our sticker okay, maybe right there I don't know. Probably put it right there. Now, yeah, we might put it up there. That way people can kind of see it. But then if I fold my thing down, nobody's going to be able to see it. So, I think we'll put it right there. I think, you know, for what I paid for it, I think with the promo code and all that, I think it was like 145 bucks. You know, 150 I'm not positive. The promo code is P. 815 um, when you go to check out I'll have you the, put promo promo code in put it in p815 and that's uh that's what she is and uh that's what we got out of her man 30 mile an hour we hit it a couple times steady speed I'd say around 27 28 kind of a flicker on the on the thing and that's only because I got taller tires. Taller tires helps out with a little bit of speed. Um, if I wouldn't have had the knobbies, um, a, a more of a lighter tire too, I think it would stay at 30 mile an hour, no problem. So we hit 30. I was impressed. Still impressed. I ain't going to sell it now. So... I'm gonna end the video here. We're gonna, I'll come back out and check this uh, charger and see which way that thing goes. I'm pretty sure it goes up to be fully charged. I'm not 100% sure. Cause if, if that is uh, almost discharged, wow, I lost a lot of battery. I was thinking about adding another battery in there too, put two batteries and just run them in parallel. That'll give me longer uh, run, run time. Um, so yeah, that, that's going to be it for this weekend's videos and stuff for this week. Uh, I still got, I still got this to deal with, you know, trying to get, trying to get this floor clean and stuff up, uh, this OSB on the wall and painted. I've got to finish. I mean, it's just, you know, I got the heater in there. It actually w works pretty good. I just ran out of propane that this morning. I had that on to take the bite off. And then this maintains it pretty well in here. So tomorrow is going to be a day of cleaning. I'll get all this stuff here clean. Hopefully all the way over to there. I've got to drain the motor. The antifreeze out of it. Drain the antifreeze out of the radiator. Get it off the stand. I'm going to, I'm going to stick it up underneath here. Out of the way. And like I said, the compressor is going to go in the other shop. And yeah, it's... I've got I bought enough garden hose where I was able to spray this out, so I'll get all this all sprayed out 
degreased and painted and once that's done I get this side I'll get everything up off the floor on this side and we will repaint everything all of it for third final coat and we will put down some uh, floor wax harden hardener floor wax stuff so that should help that that'll brighten up the floor with the reflection with the lights I've got to get some lights put up here I've got I've got two of them they're LEDs that can go right across here for the lights so I've got to get run me some power wire over here too I'll probably just use a drop cord I don't know we'll see on that note we're off y'all have a good weekend we'll see you